Hello, Internet. I'm the Disney Brain, and welcome to another edition of The Top. A few days ago, we dove into what I thought were the 10 best episodes of Liv and Maddie. Today, unfortunately, it's time to talk about the other, less cheery side of things. I'll make this very evident now, because it bears noting. I really like this show. I'm not hating on it, I'm critiquing it. And there's a world of difference between those two terms. Even while trying to be as objective as possible, there's no way to be 100% right. So, similar to other top 5 worst videos, let's keep the flame wars and hate speak non-existent. If you try to understand my perspective behind this list, I promise you, I'll try to understand yours. That is what the Disney brain is all about at the end of the day. Also, I've decided not to do an honorable mention section for this video, since it doesn't really give me a good way to explain my reasoning behind why those episodes are even there. With all that said, let's kick things off with number 5. We begin this list with an episode that feels equal parts pointless and unsettling. The racist depiction of Koreans is evident enough, as if everyone from there has this absurd fascination with gaudy clothing. Okay, that's somewhat true, but that doesn't make it any less offensive. The other side plots also leave a lot to be desired. There could have been a much deeper look into Parker's specific fascination with Linda and Heather, instead of automatically labeling it a girl show because all of his friends are children. But it comes off as too plain a resolution to make any lasting impact. The whole Maddie joey confrontation is forced at best, and even I have to admit that the whole elemental tic-tac-toe thing was nonsense and hardly counts as a victory for anyone involved. All in all, it's not without its occasional laugh, but it's pretty forgettable and squanders a couple chances to really matter. This episode isn't terrible in its entirety, but the logic of placing it at number 4 is twofold. One, the laziest love triangle I've ever seen enter a television series when Andy beats Liv to asking Holden to prom. Even though things on that end get resolved in later, better episodes, doing it this way always felt so unnecessary. And two, Cameron Boyce as a cringe-worthy magician. It's no secret that I was never a fan of his acting from his Jesse days, even though he was arguably vastly improved in Descendants, but I would imagine that even some of his fans must have been put off by this. The jokes they try and pull with this guy almost never land, and worse than that, Maddie is stuck going to prom with him, her cousin. And the more I think about it, the more I realize that this show really seems to enjoy putting her in way too many uncomfortable or unideal situations. Seriously, her life is like a roller coaster ride compared to her movie star sister, who should, in theory, be the one more defined by unpredictability. Remember how last time I talked to Liv and Maddie, I talked about inspired episodes? Well, this is the other thing. Some of you probably saw this coming given my less than enthusiastic review of this show's most recent episode, but it earned its place here with the trend of the day, that being missed chances and lazy writing. I still don't have a definitive opinion on Josh, but it wouldn't matter because they are forcing this whole Josh Maddie thing way too much. I said it before and it bears repeating here, give her a freaking break from all this boy drama. And most of you know good and well the kind of steamed review that would come if they forced yet another love triangle into the mix. They couldn't execute it well with Liv and Andy and Promarooney, so I'm legitimately worried that they'll do something really, really regrettable once Diggy returns. And let's not even talk about the ghost hunting stuff. Can we all just agree that it was maybe good for a laugh or two, but was ultimately a waste of an opportunity and a waste of time? Yes? Good? Moving on. This episode, it just hurt to watch. And to be fair, it does have a few things going for it. It's actually decently funny. The whole Parker Evans side story is entertaining, and Joey attempting to do athletic things is okay. But everything wrong with this episode is in the title, and it's on an absurdly long list of horrible things this show has put Maddie through. Are we seriously going to throw away all the amazing traits that define my favorite Disney Channel character for the sake of shoes? Really? And worse, they stage an intervention in an attempt to make this a parallel of actual drug addiction of all things. I haven't the slightest idea what these writers were thinking with this one. The same girl that wore sneakers to prom is all of a sudden going to act like your narrow view of feminine because of a pair of shoes? Really? I don't think Disney Channel as a network has beefed it so badly in terms of understanding their characters and writing them in a consistent way. Absolutely nothing about Maddie's actions were believable in this episode until Liv finally tossed those shoes into the wood chipper where they belong. All in all, it was a real step backwards for this show, but it didn't have quite the overall impact of number one. 
Now, let me be clear, I don't hate this episode per se, but it did make me feel angry for all the wrong reasons. It's supposed to be a good thing when a show can bring emotions out of you and make you really connect with the characters and their conflicts, but not when one character in particular is so uncaring, so unthoughtful, so downright dense that it made me question the very soul of humanity. It's not the fact that Maddie and Diggy break up. It's the way that I was slowly getting used to Diggy, realizing more and more that he may not be the brightest, but he's making the people around him happy, namely Maddie. No, it's the way that he never even once considered the feelings of the people in his life before making such an impromptu decision about leaving again. His arguments about Cedar's Point feeling so small fall pretty flat when he's personally responsible for making the greatest thing about this show feel like crap. This is really new territory for me, because I don't think I've ever been this outright disgusted by the actions of any character on any Disney Channel show to this high of a degree. Kyle Massey is one thing. I make fun of him a lot, but he's never really done anything too terrible. The very thought of Diggy Smalls is blood boiling, and it's because of him that I honestly rather stay as far away as possible from a top 5 worst Disney Channel characters list. It just wouldn't be a fair analysis, because this just feels too personal, even though I know it shouldn't. And even though I thought Champ Rooney and Continue to Rooney were both great episodes, his actions there make this episode retroactively worse, because he comes across as a guy with no real conviction or sense. He could have taken some time to think about Australia, you know, what normal people do, as directly opposed to breaking Maddie's heart his first week back like the jerk face that he is. Tundra Bania, which isn't even a real place by the way, I mean, really? It was way too good for him. Let's try shipping him to Siberia next time. What? What? Too much? Too much? Alright, alright, no Siberia then. Oh, and Dump Truck rode a bike in this episode. Uh, yay? Flugball Rooney is number one, so the list is finally done. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, help me out with the likes, subs, and share it all over social media. And don't forget to follow the Disney Brain on Facebook and Twitter for updates. Links down below. The coming week will bring the second half of my Top 10 Power Ranger Seasons video, as well as a Top 10 video for Austin and Allie. At this point, I'm thinking it's going to be the Top 10 Best Songs from the Show, so be on the lookout for those. Until then! Here's your old bike, buddy! Why is my training bike so feminine? It's a gender-neutral bike. It works for both boys or girls. Oh, right, I forgot. What's with the girl bike? I knew it!